Oh, the universe is amazing. It's beautiful. It's a Fibonacci sequence of symmetrical, wondrous delight. It's perfect in every way. Everything fits into place. I love it. It's just everything that is necessary. And it's it's got meaning and it just looks so wonderful. Uh, I'm in awe of the universe. Bullshit. If uh, these are your thoughts, I suggest reframing, rethinking the way you view the universe. Because you're deluded, you're myopic in your observations, you're not really taking in what is going on. Perhaps you're looking at the imagery from too far away. I suggest you zoom in and look at the individual pixels that make up this megapixelation. And you'll see differences. You'll see strange occurrences, freakish moments that shatter your illusions of some kind of heavenly purpose for this monstrosity that is material existence. I'm afraid your notions of perfection are fundamentally flawed. There is no perfection in this universe. There is no thing, no person who can stand up to your protestations that this universe is magical, wonderful, and unblemished. We are all one way or another. We are whimsical, flimsy, idiotic morons. And most of us have biases that in themselves represent a monstrous movement from being in eternal balance. Look at this earth. Do you really think it is in balance with the universe? Do you think it's perfect? Constant suffering, constant anxiety of animals looking for food. The satiation is but a short moment. And then the hunger games begin. More killing. More dying. Praise be the freaks that walk amongst us. That shock us to the core. That show us that we are moronic. We are scared when we see them. We bully them when we're children. But they, they show us what this universe really is. It is a fucking brutal, brutal place. Full of differences. Full of shocking occurrences. And they are all around us. And we like to hide in the mystery, in the woo-woo, and pretend that everything is ordered. Everything is perfect. And then we get visited in our own lives. Our minds are awakened sometimes to 
indifference, to disorder, to chaos, to something which shakes us, shakes us, shakes the very notions that are cemented in our insane, insane wishful thinking that this, this, this material realm is heaven. It is not heaven. There is ample evidence to show otherwise. There is ample evidence to demonstrate otherwise. There is empirical data. And you yourself, you yourself, will feel that empirical evidence as you grow, as you observe your loved ones, your friends falling apart falling apart at their very seams, all their woo-woo, all their delight in this material realm will come to nothing. They will decay. They will fall apart. They will suffer horribly. They will die in excruciating agony. They will see the truth. Maybe they won't be able to speak it. Maybe they won't even be able to mentally disentangle it, disentangle it from their prior held convictions that life is glorious, ex this existence is wonderful. But they will feel the wrath, the wrath of the truth, the truth that is all around. And so, so will you. You will feel the truth, the truth that this universe is an abomination of nature, a cruel, unfeeling calamity that extinguishes all that is good, that causes pain and suffering in innumerable amounts, that is the causation of all injustice. You will feel the wrath of the truth. You will be obliterated. Your woo-woo will turn you to poo-poo.